County Environmental Protection is teaching local kids some important lessons about our water and how we can all help to keep it clean. Yes, very important. We've been learning about how um, wetlands help stop pollution from getting into the aquifer and how, about the plants and animals that live there. We've learned that um, any pollution, like litter, gr grass clippings, stuff like that, can get washed into the creeks and the rivers, and it'll pollute the water that you drink. It's an important message County EPD is trying to impart at an important time in the students' education. Each year we select one school and we give presentations to all of the fourth and or fifth graders um, learning about stormwater pollution, how to reduce their stormwater pollution, and about rain gardens, how they can filter out pollution and help water infiltrate into the ground. We're giving the Enviroscape presentation to every fifth grade class at Talbot Elementary School and it's a model of a watershed, so it teaches the students what a watershed is and how to prevent stormwater pollution. It's a 3D model, and so it's interactive. The kids get to come up and they use different colored sprinkles to represent different types of pollution. So the brown sprinkles represent dog poop, the multicolored sprinkles represent litter, the green sprinkles represent fertilizer. They sprinkle it all over the model, and then they make it rain with squirt bottles. They spray down on the model, the rain comes, it washes all of the pollution over the model and into the lake. And they can see how it builds up in the lake. There's a little drain in the lake that represents a sinkhole, and it drains down into a Tupperware container underneath, which represents the aquifer. Educational, but for kids, it's also good fun. They love it. They may get a little wet. The, the sprinkles don't stain, but it's great because it's interactive. The kids really enjoy it, I would say. Um, generally, we come in after science programs have already initially started um, preliminary teachings of the watershed as well as the water cycle. So they, they know generally how it works. We're just trying to reinforce the ideas behind the concepts uh, in, a, in a tangible way so they can see how it affects their city, their local environment. The model helps kind of express that. And it seems the lesson is sinking in. Well, the quality of the water, like if it's clear and you can see through it, it's good pure water. But if you can't see through it and it's cloudy, it has minerals in it. One way students are learning to help keep our water clean is by planting a rain garden. A rain garden is just basically a mini wetland. It is a garden planted in a low area that receives stormwater runoff. Um, it's usually close to a downspout of a house, so that water comes directly into the rain garden. And um, it helps to recharge the aquifer by capturing that rain and letting it seep directly into the ground. And it can filter stormwater pollution, heavy metals, extra nitrogen. The plants can take that up and um, help clean that water before it enters the ground. Of course, there are also other reasons to plant a rain garden. I planted the swamp sunflower. Because it was tall and the leaves looked really cool and the flowers would stand out because they're yellow. I planted a cone flower. I wanted to plant a flower because when I come back, I wanted to see it bloom. All fun aside, these students really do understand why it's so important for kids to learn the program lessons. So that they can help out in the future and to keep the water clean. But kids aren't the only audience County Environmental Protection would like to reach. We also have adult programs where we will come out, we'll give a talk at a homeowners association, a church group, any civic group, wherever there's an audience that wants to learn more about water, we would love to come out and talk to them about water conservation, springs, our creeks, wetlands, um, you name it, we can talk about it if it's related to the water in the environment. If you'd like to set up a presentation, you can call our main office at 352 264-6800 or visit www.alachuacountywater.org. For Take 5, I'm Alan Yetter.